Hi everyone, Dee Langley with Dee Langley Realty Associates and Remax coming to you today with the Charlotte Metro Region Monthly Market Report for December of 2016. Congratulations to Clemson and to Alabama. We are not a collegiate household. My youngest does watch college sports, but um, for the most part, we are not a collegiate household, but we are a split household. My husband's originally from Alabama, and of course, I'm a South Carolina girl. But I wanted to say congratulations to Alabama for that hard-fought game in Clemson for being, becoming champions. All right, so the Charlotte Metro region, we want to dive right in. This is a shifting market. We've been seeing this for the last several months, and I've told you that the Charlotte Metro region is made up of 17 counties, and we typically, in a balanced market, neither a seller or a buyer's market, we typically have six months worth of inventory or 25,000 listings per month. So for the month of December, our Charlotte Metro region had 8,747 homes for the month of December. That is a full 1,000 home drop from November of 2016. That, so as I said, 25,000 listings per month, we're at 8,700. Six months supply, we're actually at a 2.3 month supply. This is the lowest I've ever seen it in the last nine years. We also uh, saw a drop in the days on market. So from the moment that you list your house to the moment that you get a contract is 54 days. That's a full six days less than November of 2016. Now we're always one month behind because we try to close the whole month out. So that's why you're seeing this is for December of 2016. The average list price in our area is 285, where the average sales price is 258. Now, why is there a difference in that? Well, there's several reasons. You're starting to see that small interest rate hike go up, and when things like that happen, you're seeing, and of course, with the low inventory, you're seeing the sellers are trying to push the market to get as much as they can out of their homes, and the appraisals are kind of reining some of those back in. You're also, like I said, that small interest rate jump you're seeing things like that change the affordability for some buyers. So one of the great things that happened that was announced this week was that for you know people who are using the FHA or the governmentally backed loan program, which is a good majority of home buyers, those that are using the FHA home loan program, the MIP or mortgage insurance premium is being dropped for as much as $500 a year. That is a major help with the purchasing power for some folks because that's going to change your insurance premium monthly on your mortgage. So you need to talk to a mortgage broker and I do believe that that starts on the homes that are locked in by January 27th. So we still have two more weeks before that starts. But that's a huge, huge interest uh, or a huge help in your purchasing power. All right, so now we looked at the 30,000 foot version. Let's drill down to our, to our counties. Mecklenburg and Union County make up about 50% of those listings that we were talking about. So for Mecklenburg County, we had 2,477 homes on the market and the days on market dropped by over a full week, eight full days. So it only takes 40 days before you get an offer on your home or a contract on your home and they're at a 1.5 month supply. So they are less than the 30,000 foot version. Okay, so for Union County, Union County, we had 765 homes, 61 days on the market and a 2.2 month supply. All right, so let's get into the town. For the town of Monroe, Monroe, you had 199 homes on the market, 46 days on the market, and a 2.1 month supply. For those that are living in Waxhaw, Waxhaw had 255 homes, 65 days on the market, and a 2.6 month supply. Now I looked at Indian Trail as well, uh, and Indian Trail had 39 homes on the market. No, I did not say that wrong. 39 homes, that's it. 39 homes on the market, 58 days, and a 2.4 month supply. Now I also looked at Indian Trail, this is for December. So when I looked at Indian Trail, for the month of January for right now, just, just on yesterday, it was January 12th. So for January 12th, there were 90 homes that were on the market. Now this is active, 
under contract or under contract no show. So that means any of the homes that were either pending or currently active. For those that were current on the market, we had 90 for the entire town of Indian Trail. Of those 90, 50 were new construction. Five zero, more than half were new construction. So just keep that in mind that we are in desperate need for existing homes. We are in desperate need for people to sell. You've got lots of folks that are like, well, I want to wait till spring. Well, spring is now. It, we're seeing a lot of homes that are being listed that are getting contracts in hours, not days, hours, especially in the first time home buyer, uh, home buyer market. If you were thinking about you need more space or you need that extra room, now is the time. Go ahead and list your house. Don't wait till March because there will be more competition at that time frame as well. Go ahead and get a jump on the market. If you're ready, let's do it. But you need to have a plan because, like we said, there's only 8,700 homes on the market. So you have to know where you're going. Are you renting? Are you building? Are you living with family? You need to have a realtor who is looking after your best interest so we can make sure that you have a place to go. All right, so for my South Carolina folks, Fort Mill had 246 homes on the market, 49 days on the market, which is a small uptick. That could be caused by any number of things. It could be caused that the seller wanted more time, could be the fact that um, it was a rental, could be a new appraisal. It could have been a number of things. And then we have the 1.9 month supply. So since we've been talking about how low our inventory is and you have to have a plan, let's find out what our average rent is. Now, one of the good things, this is going down, but the average rent in Charlotte or in the Charlotte metro region is $1,389. It was $1,450. It dropped to $1,401, and now we're saying $1,389 that I started paying attention to what the rental market is. But you'll also notice that the, um, the vacancy rate, meaning how many homes there are to be rented, is, is also um, very, very small. So just like there's the same thing that we're, we're seeing with the inventory being really low, the vacancy rate is really low with the rental market. So we, again, we need to make sure that you have a place to go when you're ready to sell. Now, also keep in mind that if you're concerned that you can't afford a home and the average rent is $1,389. My mortgage brokers are telling me that for an average rent of $1,389, you're looking at a mortgage of about a $250,000 home. Now, there are other things that come into play, down payments, interest rate, lots of other things. But at $1,389, it's close to a $240,000, $250,000 home. There are also first-time home buyer programs that are out there as well. Give me a call. 704-989-9793. Respond back to this email, or you can even text me at that number, 704-989-9793. Let me know how I can help you. Let's see if we can get you into one of those programs. Let's see what we can do. If you're thinking about selling, give me a call. Now's the time to at least take a look at your home, and let's get it ready and make a plan. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.